Hello everyone, this is Yuli from the Ranch Simulator community team and today is all about farming. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to find your crop plots and then I'm going to show you the tools that you need and how to do everything so you'll be ready to farm. Okay, so to find the crop plots, I start at the front of the ranch just because it seems to be the easiest place to start sort of like a mile marker kind of thing so you're going to start at the front of the ranch and you're going to drive to the back this barn on the left here is actually where the old house oops one of my cows is out is where the old house used to be um, that you demolished in the tutorial so that should give you sort of a landmark to be able to find these crop plots but you just drive straight back this is another sort of landmark here this tall part of the mountain just kind of helps you see where the crop plots are and here's the first one and then the other two are to the right of that so we're gonna pull over here and get started with the tools that you're gonna need okay so the first things that you're gonna need is gonna be the tractor is twelve hundred dollars at the car shop and the harvester is two thousand dollars um, these are the headers for the harvester. There's wheat, corn, and sunflowers. The headers are $200 each at the hardware store. You've got the tractor attachments over here. The cultivator for $400. The cedar is $400. The fertilizer trailer is $600. And the harvest trailer is $400. Um, these are all sold at the hardware store and you do not need the harvest trailer if you are planning on just feeding your animals. Um, I do have it on good authority that you can feed them with the wheat, corn, or the sunflowers. All three will go into the silos and feed your animals. I do not know what kind of effect they have once you put them inside the silos if the sunflowers last longer or anything like that um, but I do know that you cannot move any crops from the harvest trailer into the silos it has to come through the harvester so please keep that in mind if you're trying to feed your animals you cannot put any extras in the harvest trailer you have to keep it inside the harvester as far as the seeds go there are wheat, corn, and sunflower. The wheat seeds are $100, corn is $150, and sunflowers are $200. You can purchase them at either the hardware store or the general store. We're going to be using the wheat ones today just to show an example. I've got some fertilizer back here that you can use, or you can also fill up the fertilizer trailer with your composter. So we are going to go ahead and get started on this very first plot and I'm just going to load up on the tractor and get this cultivator attached. Okay. And I'm going to try and drive as slowly as I possibly can, but if you find that you're having trouble with that, take and pull up here and then just jump off the tractor and jump back on. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to actually activate the cultivator and then jump off and then jump back on. Now what that does, um, I found out, is that it actually causes the tractor to slow down. It has a very much slower top speed um, than it would if you were just driving it straight. Um, the tractor's top speed is something like 24 to 25 miles per hour. And with the cultivator attached, I think you can go a max of like six miles an hour. So it makes it a little bit easier if you're like me and you want to get those straight lines going across these plots. You definitely want to do that. So we are going to go ahead and start this up and you just activate the attachment by left clicking and then just drag it across the ground. It will only work on the farm plots as of right now. I don't know if they are intending on adding any more, 
to the game or if they're going to let us make our own. I know that has been suggested quite a few times. I'm only going to do a couple of rows here just because I want to show you guys how to do this. Oop. The one problem with that is you will get stuck on the hills over here. But if you try to just do it this way, then you end up kind of jerky sometimes. So that is a different option if you want to just keep it down and go really slowly. Okay, so that's that one's pretty easy. I'm not going to do too much with this because it is so easy. So we're going to take this and drop it back off. And we will pick up the cedar. Woo! Okay. Okay. Now I'm just gonna grab some wheat seeds for this. And I'm only gonna do one bag because we don't need a whole lot just to show. Okay, there we go. Now you have to be really careful with the cedar because if you go over say 10 or 12 miles an hour with this, um, it's gonna hop all over the place on you. It, I've had it completely turn the tractor around um, trying to get it back from the store so keep that in mind now with the cedar you do the same thing as you did with the cultivator you're just gonna left click to let those wheels down and then drive across and you'll see that the seeds are already falling out the ground is changing so we are definitely seeding and they kind of stretch out in weird ways um, one side of one edge of this is not going to get seeded for some reason it just doesn't and then the other edge it will be almost completely covered so we are just very badly driving across this sorry guys we know the driving needs to be updated do one more pass to get that little patch there and we should be fine with that luckily this is not how I drive in real life <laughs> okay we'll drop this off all right now I'm gonna pick up the fertilizer trailer I like to fertilize immediately after planting. I think that with the timeline on the growth situation, it's probably for the best. You don't have to fertilize, but it does help it grow a little bit faster and give you a little more profit than what it would if you were just letting them grow on their own. So I'm going to take this over here, you just press E to fill it, and it's going to load it. And then, same thing with one of the jugs of fertilizer, you can just run it over here, press E to fill, and it's filled. Okay, start this up. We're going to drive over here. We should actually be able to get most of this in one pass. So, we're going to pull up a little bit more just to make sure we're on the flat ground. And then, same thing with this. You're just going to left click and those arms are going to come out. And you are going to be fertilizing. You can see that the ground changes color when it gets fertilized. So, you know what parts you fertilized and what you haven't in case you run out of fertilizer halfway across the field. 
and that's pretty much it. I mean, you're fertilized. Now you just have to wait for it to grow. By the time I typically finish a, f a field like this, um, with the fertilizing, it's already sprouted. Um, so by the time I get it all cultivated, get it all seeded, make sure it's all seeded because, you know, sometimes I drive a little crazy and then come through with the fertilizer. A lot of them have already sprouted and it typically takes the crops about a day to grow. So it's not going to take you very long. Um, and see those sprouts are already coming up now. So let's move on to the harvesting part i have some corn that's ready so we'll go ahead and do that just so you can see what that looks like all right so we'll get in this start it up hitch up to that and it's just c to put the attachments on this thing only drives about 10 miles an hour though. So it's gonna take us about 15 minutes to get over to the corn. So I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're having a great new year. We're still not even halfway there. Oh my gosh, we're getting close. Okay. So harvesting is pretty simple. You just come up here and, whoops, slow it down. All right, and drop the attachment and just drive. You can drive in circles, you can drive in straight lines, however you need to do it, just drive. It's very, very easy to do, it's very simple. You just have to have the right head on for what you're harvesting and the plot goes right back to where it can be cultivated again. So I could stop harvesting right now and go grab the cultivator and I could start planting just right away. So there is that. Um, now what I can show you is how to fill up your silos. It's very, very simple. It is not hard at all. It's just about lining everything up. So let's finish this row and we'll let that up and let's go put some corn in the silo. Like I said, you can put it in the harvest trailer if you'd like to go sell it. Um, I do have the prices for that. It is wheat is five dollars and sixty cents per unit corn is six dollars and eighty cents per unit and the sunflowers are eight dollars per unit um, when you go to the general store to sell everything it's going to give it to you in tenths of a unit so it says you know 56 cents 68 cents and 80 cents but that is per tenth of a unit. That way you know exactly how much you're getting. So a unit of sunflowers is gonna be $8, which isn't a bad price. However, the publishers have said that it is actually still cheaper to just pay to fill up your silos instead of using the crops. It is still cheaper to just pay to fill them up at this time just because the balancing hasn't been done yet i have been told it will be done at some point after the update to ue5 but for now it's just cheaper to fill them on your own just run up and press r so that is everything for today if you have any questions please put them down in the comments and i will answer them Please like this video because maybe the publishers will see it and know that I'm doing my job well. Hi guys. Okay, and thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Please go and check out the other tutorials I've made. There's one for cheese, one for meat, and one for fence building. 
If you need any other tutorials, please let me know. I am happy to do them. And thanks so much for watching. And happy ranching.